about struggling with air conditioning those portables. News for Jack's reporter Scott Johnson has been speaking with the district and parents and has more from Clay County. I'm behind a Clay County Elementary School right now, but you probably can't tell because you don't see the main school, you just see this sea of portable classrooms. This is the case in a lot of schools. The other issue that's of note that we're asking about, HVAC systems, air conditioning units. There were concerns last year when there was a push for a property tax hike that some could eventually fail. Two weeks from today, students will return to Clay County Schools. I asked parents if they have any concerns about either COVID safety or children spending so much time in masks when the district has lamented the amount of portable buildings along with HVAC vulnerabilities that have been discussed in school board meetings in recent years. Well, I think they should be checking obviously the filters, maybe finding, you know, maybe a, a better filter, a microfiber filter that could help you know, circulate the air. Do you worry about breathability for seven hours a day? Yes, I do. Actually, I do. Like, this is driving me nuts right now, to be honest. To be out in a mask like this? Yes. And you worry about them like that? Yes. They will wear them. My kids are very um, aware of the situation, and they know the risk of not wearing one. <laughs> um, but they know what they have to do in order for them to go to school and they're both they're all three of them are ready to go to school. The HVAC issue made headlines last year at Oak Leaf Elementary when classes were temporarily canceled because an AC chiller went down. So I reached out to the district about that and all the portable classrooms. They tell me Clay County District Schools currently has 845 portables. Clay County is fourth in the state behind Orange, Broward, Palm Beach, and Miami-Dade. And on HVAC, the district is sounding much more confident than during board meetings last year when a property tax hike was on the table. The status of the HVAC units are stable and there are no major issues. The district is recently contracted with a filter replacement company to assist with a tighter schedule for all schools and district offices. One other statement from Clay County I don't want to overlook about HVAC and the portable classrooms. They are now saying, quote, there are no concerns. In Orange Park, Scott Johnson, Channel 4, The Local Station.